One shot of dying, essentially, from this 5-7. There's surely not a way for Seuss to make this happen. Surely not. Seuss, he's going to find himself an extra kill, but there's still two men left standing, and CLG will indeed win that pistol round after a slight scare. Yeah, Tyrex seems to have made that chicken hut into his home. Another 3k for him in, from that area, as we can see here in this replay. Just destroying Seized and Guardian, and also... Killing the third guy, Flamey, as well. So great stuff from Tarek here. Zeus obviously trying to get in back into it. Doesn't manage to do it in the end. It was a 2-1 situation, and CLG comes out on top. And as you can see here, now he's going to make a huge investment on the second round. They're going to be fully fully bought for this. They have the legal from Tech Times going on. Zeus also has a smoke grenade. So let's see how it works out for them. Now the uh, good old... Good old uh, Force Bite from Na'Vi, indeed. And... They are moving the bomb down A long at this point, and CLG, they're playing that classic anti-eco sort of around, just keeping the distances and making sure they can abuse those ranges and not get caught close with those uh, where the strengths are for those pistols. And Guardian will open things up, taking down Haze, so still not a disaster yet for, for CLG. Still got some good positioning, but things start to get a little bit precarious. Finesse has to take the frag against these, but he's going to die, and now things are starting to get a bit precarious. Yeah. Five versus three, the bomb making its way towards A. It means Cutler needs to do a heavy, heavy amount of damage to the oppos opposition, and it's not gonna happen. Just one frag, and all of a sudden, Na'Vi making this force by work. At least Jadian's gonna clean up Connector, allowing at least an approach back in, but they gotta get through these choke points, gotta get through these doors. The smokes are all gonna cause issues here for this retake. It's gonna be a very tough one for Indeed, and Guardian gets that shot on JDM. Does he get that next to Tarek? No, Tarek is flamey though. Yeah, looking pretty impossible here for Tarek, and Indeed, Guardian is gonna finish him off. So good setup there, but... Nutty what, shots. What, I mean, what happened to it? I mean, yeah, the, 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 those first two shots that happened from from Navi were just huge, managing to create that five on three situation in in, in their favor, and even got the, getting that third kill before giving one away from their own, and managing to take that A site, getting the bomb down. Not a lot to do for CLG, so that was a heartbreaking situation for CLG. Getting that that pistol round and then losing the the, the round after is always going to be very heartbreaking indeed. Here we go, the uh, classic JW sort of play these days. Play me with that sawn off and uh, just jumping into the drop zone. And CLG trying to force their, force their way back into this with a quick force by indeed. It's going to be tough, but uh, Edward is going to take the first frag. Entry onto JDM through the smoke as he drops into connector, uh, rather, sorry, into drop zone. And he's going to be spraying away with that P90, but not going to find too much luck there with the frags. Still three players left alive here for CLG. And now Na'Vi starting to lose players of their own. This force boy could actually end up working, but Zeus will find himself that position of haze behind the boulder. Always tough to deal with that player, but it's just him left. 18 HP as well for Hazed. So the hope is not high in his camp, but he's going to try to make it happen with that 5-7. Finds Guardian, but he will meet his demise to the AK, and that's going to be Na'Vi 2-1. Yeah, CLG trying to like with the uh, force buy there. Cutler making a couple of kills happen, and FNS as well, but in the end of the day, Na'Vi survives that situation. It's going to be putting CLG in a save here, and a bit of a pressure to the upcoming round as well. Obviously, when you force buy, you're not going to have a lot of money going into that first actual buy round. And that's exactly the situation. Lucky for them, though. I mean, JDM still has 3.6k, so he'll be on that up. Yeah, and it's going to be quite interesting to see whether or not Kyoji can get some damage done here, economically speaking. It's unlikely, but that would very much help the cause. And we've got uh, already the first frag going to Seize with that MAC-10. Seize is going to be jumping into the drop, but he's going to get taken down by JDM, catching him off guard. And uh, now it's going to be Tarek there. He picks himself up an AK. The bomb is actually down as well, so a lot of damage being done here now for CLG. This is a good round, despite what they invested. It's uh, very little indeed. JDM going to look for the next engagement. He's going to get uh, taken down, but two kills is actually pretty decent in that situation. Yeah, I mean, one of them, Seize, I think he, he needs to drop here to get all the nades he, he would like to have, so always great to get those couple of kills those gonna help CLG's cause and as I said JDM still has that money so he's gonna be able to buy the op but there's gonna be a bit of a limitation when it comes to their grenades so no Molotovs for CLG at all though so everyone except for JDM has a smoke to slow down the attacks from Na'Vi so let's see what kind of approach they have on their setup on the CT side it seems like they're sending haze here alone towards this long B meanwhile Na'Vi is taking a very very cautious slow approach feeling out what's going on. Bit of pressure put on that drop room. Meanwhile, you have Guardian and Zeus here working in this middle. Yeah, and JDM in that uh, position on the boost. 
to stay getting himself good angles with that AWP. Could be unexpected, but Na'Vi, they are dealing with all these smokes at the moment. There's not much they can really do to make much happen with all those smokes down, but it does look like they're slowly trying to build some opportunities here for their side. And Stays is going to back away from yep. a long from CLG, so they're starting to feel the pressure as well. Yeah, Na'Vi gradual, just taking over the map a bit by bit right now in that here in middle. And it seems like they're actually grouping up to go towards that B bomb, bomb side, just leaving Zeus here towards the A. So he's going to be either a flank or a bit of a distraction here. You know, all his teammates are gearing to go to this drop room. Yeah, JDM still unknown in this angle. Could be the X Factor in this round. Steez will get the opening onto Finesse. Where is the response? JDM, he's gearing up for it. He's going to connect the shot as well. There's multiple players coming in from drop though. Just try to combine as this push. What a shot there from JDM. Finding Guardian at range with the AWP and Cutler. He's looking to hold down the window into Connector. If he can make this frag happen, the chances are rising here for CLG. Massively so. Everybody from the North American team is delivering against Na'Vi in this very critical round. And now it's on Seas, the savior of train for Na'Vi. He's going to find the first frag, dropping Haze at distance. But there's still much more to be done and no time to do it. Seas, all he can do right now is to just stay alive. But CLG, I don't, I'm not sure if they're going to allow that now that the time has been up. They're going to look for the frag. He's going to have the first player attacking and he's going to go down after time. Brilliant call from CLG. Yeah, and that, that was just on JDM again. A massive performance from him. And it seems to, doesn't matter if he's T side or CT side. He just loves being around that box on that B plateau. Getting two huge kills to just stop that push from Navi. Even if Navi got that first kill on FNS and drop room, they still couldn't manage to, to really do anything going to that bomb site. So, just good stuff from, from CLG and Navi. Still gonna be forced by into this one. They'll have a Gullil, they'll have a Tech 9. Guardian's still on that up in a couple of AKs to work with. A bit of nades too. So, they've gone for that force. And uh, Navi looking for that A long take again. And, uh, well, CLG with their setups, they have been neglecting it quite a lot. So, it's a good read from Navi. And yet again, they have this Navi-esque thing going on here. They, a lot of the times yesterday as well, I think it was yesterday, when they played this map, they just take over this long to start off with Guardian already spotting that Gatler here, jumping into the bomb site. So they have the knowledge that there's going to be a guy here to watch the site. Well, Hayes will take Edward down there in mid. That's a really important kill now because he's going to create a lot of pressure and he's going to stop the, uh, the, the, the T side from just building that push into the A bomb site itself. You can see Hayes still doing a lot of work. That's the second kill now. There's the third player. And CLG really starting to soar in this one. As we'll see, Cutler taking down Flamey. Tarek in great position to get the trade onto Steez with that M4. And now it's just on Guardian. And they w Navi weren't able to, to put the pieces together in this round despite getting some good positioning. Yeah, I mean, they were just dying one by one. And I'm not really sure why they committed to go through that A long hauls all the way and trying to commit to the A site right away. They should have just tried to get an opening kill and then make a decision afterwards. They still had all that time going on but instead they just die one by one and CLG capitalize on the situation and that's gonna be their third round Guardian here saving that op in that T tower see if the CTs are gonna push him probably not since their economy is not looking too good either I think that's the smart move to do they'll, they'll know that op is gonna be in the play but they'll know their op opponents don't have a lot of money either well, they don't have money, much, a lot of money either. So, I mean, it's a smart thing to not go and try to get that kill. And what's still like Hayes, you know, is he, he had the, he's a lynch pin. He pulled out a lynch pin from the round there for Navi. As soon as he got that first kill, because there's nobody to follow up from that position, then he's he's safe on CT ramp, and you just can't build the round into the site. So, it almost, and he's also alone there as well. So, if they just attacked him with numbers, they would actually have some success. So, it almost feels like they are baiting Navi into taking a long by saying, "Well, it's free. And again, Why not yeah, take it?" Yeah, Navi here, they're really investing on this one. Bought armors and, and pistols and guardians gonna be the front man with that op. He's gonna try to create an opening here doing this B plateau. He's just scoping around with that a AWP. Got JD in there as well though. Is he gonna get the better of him? No, Guardian will get the entry. Very big kill from Guardian, opening up the round for his team, despite just being on tech nines. And this is the this is the role Guardian serves to provide here for his team. He's got to be the carry. He's got the orb still. He's looking for the shots. He can't get the trace. Still trying to use this vantage point to his uh, his advantage, but it's not quite happening right now. Pulls out the Glock, gets promptly dropped there, but he has created the space in the bomb site for his team to capitalize. Two versus one now as Cutler approaches from the flank, and he's going to take it slowly here as the bomb is not yet down, and he needs to get some information. Both tier tiers right now are pretty low, so. He has a chance here. He swaps both of them. That gets both of them as well. Wow. 
Wow, that was really unfortunate for Na'Vi, but CLG must be loving it as they are definitely in a really good place now. Just as you as you pointed out, the money for both teams in that round is pretty dire. Na'Vi actually uh, getting in that kind of half by the Quasi by there, having Guardian on the AWP and the rest of the team with the Tech Nines. It's actually going to allow them to have a bit of a buy into this round, but you got to favor CLG now. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a reasonable choice from Na'Vi at this point. They'll know that CLG's money is not that good, so they're trying to force that save. CLG by taking this round. It seems like they're going to be taking over that middle really fast here. It's going to be a battle with Hazed. We'll have a lot of players moving on quickly there with those Tech Knights, and that's how you use them. And they will get the trade, which is what they were playing for, but they did sustain a lot of damage. However, the A bomb site, there's actually no CC directly on top of it at the moment. Just cut loose nearby, but he's quite weak, and the smokes will come in. So Navi building a strong round in here now, but the defense is coming in from the CT side. Zeus in with a frag. The trades are coming thick and fast, but it's just Zeus left against two CTs. At least he's got the bomb, and he can get the plant. But it looks like his uh, position is going to be taken down here by Finesse. And that's a very nice cleanup coming in from CLG. Yeah, Kotler got a lot more out of that round than, than he could have hoped for in the end. Being so low all the way back in that state spawn. Getting, getting a kill there and just slowing down Zeus enough so that his, his teammates could come in and, and, and uh, sweep the round in the end in that afterplan situation and CLG making it happen. I think this is the point where Navi can actually buy because they got, got that bomb, round, uh, bomb down and they've lost four rounds in a row as well. So the economy is working out in their favor in this situation. Yeah, it's uh, quite interesting how this uh, this cobble is shaping up at this point with these kind of two half buys from Navi now going into a four buy thanks to the bomb being down. And, wow, well, I'm looking forward to seeing more Guardian and JDM action here. These are definitely the centerpieces of the team in that sense with the Yorps. Oh, definitely. And what we'll see here right now, Navi is taking it really slow. It's going to be Edward here working towards the B bomb side again. He's going to have that three-man group who's going to try to take that A long. Let's see if, they, if Navi keeps this more methodical this time around instead of just committing right away to that A site, trying to force an opening and then you utilize that. As the CT stats rotate, if the if the terrorists get that first bit going on, we've seen this round before in Cutler dealing some good damage through the smoke. Navi trying to build into the A position again with potential for the flank from drop as well. There's two players, but can the hold come in for the North American side? Hayes is going to go down to Zeus, so they have so, lost some control. Yeah, now they have a lot of options they can run here because. As I said, that's going to cause a rotation. You have two CLG CTs are going to be A site and two on the B site. So that opens up a lot of opportunities here. Navi could do a fake round. They can fully commit on this on this B site. And it seems like they're actually going to be rotating that bomb somewhere towards the B site. So that's possibly going to be where they're attacking here. Devious stuff. Devious stuff here from Na'Vi, really trying to toy with CLG on those rotations. They have no idea what's going on. Zeus will pick up a kill as the push has now been revealed into the B-bomb site from Na'Vi. And Altaric will catch Seasoft Guard. He's holding his onto his position here, going for the spray, but he doesn't get the follow-up kill. And that is going to allow Na'Vi straight onto the bomb site, and it's going to put Cutler in a position where he is alone against three members, and he's looking to try to make a fast approach. Straight through the doors, looking for the first engagement. He's going to find it, and he'll actually get the kill, but Guardian will find the kill with the Tracer through the smoke, revealing Cutler's position, and that's going to be around for Navi. And that's going to be a disaster for CLG's economy at this point. Everyone except for FNS are sitting at very, very low cash. So it's definitely going to be one save. The question is, are they going to double save on this one or not? But there we go, where Navi manages to force that opening kill. That's going to cause a rotation from the CTs. And what you saw after that, you saw Zeus be left alone in middle, and the rest of the Ts were going towards that B bomb site. Zeus creates a distraction on the A site, even gets that kill, and then the rest of the Ts his teammates pushes that B bomb site. They get it down. They get Tarek on the on the B site. They get the bomb down. They win the round. Now it's just uh, standard anti eco business, and it's the kind of a round that you would expect Navi to have a good grasp on how to play, so that they have minimal losses and hopefully for them bit of a, no losses. Yeah, and a bit of a different approach here from Navi as well. Instead of taking that side hall with three, they're just holding here with Zeus and Flamey middle. Meanwhile, the other three trying to get a peek from the drop and see what's going on in that B long. And it seems like they're going to be opting to move towards that A bomb site actually, which only has Cutler and Haste right now holding it. Yeah, and the Na'Vi, they should be able to trade quite effectively because they're staying together as a team. So the pistol shouldn't be able to isolate them too easily. And Na'Vi should be able to overpower and overwhelm as they make their way up the CT wrap. But there are some things. Haste finds the kill onto Zeus. 
with the uh, the USP. And Edward just dives straight in there. He's going to isolate himself. Flamey will come in by the side, but he's a little bit too slow. And that's going to be a three on three with Guardian critically low. The pistols can definitely be enough, but the B90 goes to work. And Flamey will take down two players, leaving just Tarek left alone. He does have a taser, though. Such a meat grinder in that weapon, though. P90 against uh, yep. all armor opponents. Yep. No Kevlar. No fun. No, definitely not. And that's going to leave Tarek alone here. With the USB and Azuz. Just hoping for someone to come into his crosshair. It's not looking too good for him. Jumping in with that Zeus as well. Yeah, that's the first play. He really wants to get the Zeus off here. But oh, wow, he actually takes down Steez. That's wow. kind of surprising considering Steez was pretty healthy. And a lot more. Seriously, Steez just got a lot more than, than they would have hoped for. And as you can see here, their money right now is pretty low. So... From the looks of things, it seems like they're going to be going for that double save. I think that's the smart move right now to do. Make sure you have all the weaponry you need and all the nades you need. You can They can afford buying some uh, deagles here, some P250s and a CZ, even a couple of nades as well. And Haste there actually did a lot of work. And I, I don't know, really, Navi sort of felt like disconnected for a moment there on that round. That could have been costly as well, but in the end, it was flaming on that P90 that made the huge difference and secured the round for Navi. Yeah, and uh, you know, like you mentioned, it's, it's, this is going to open up opportunities in the future of CLG, you know, dealing this extra damage, Navi having to spend, you know, too much money, really, to be honest, in that round. But it uh, looks like they're going to build into a much better anti-eco kind of a round, just executing onto the site, backs against the wall together. As one, they move onto the B-bomb site, or kind of as a split. They will end up there together, though. And Edward will finally drop down in as his teammates have gone through the drop zone as well. So good coordination here, this round from Na'Vi. And they are going to make a, an excellent round for themselves. Completely clean. Yeah, that's an interesting chat they have going on there. They'll, they'll create a, a wall of smoke to that B-bomb site. We've seen a lot of that recently. But what they do, instead of going to that B-platform, they'll rotate three guys to the drop room and go through there, actually. And they'll create a bit of a sandwich effect at that B-bomb site. And they just did it to, to perfe perfection there in that situation where CLG was on a save, but like we can see here this time around, they're going to be purchasing in uh, JDM again on that op. Everyone else on those in fours. See if they can make it work. Oh, we have a very different round here from Navi. A very fast pace straight through middle. Cutler's going to spot a lot of players. He gets the first frag and another one as well. That's really good damage and all the information for CLG. Navi should know at this point it's going to be very hard, but they are going to force the issue. They're going up the ramp. They want to keep trying to bite away at this A bomb site. But CLG, they've got three players in position. I think the big difference right now is his haste here. His positioning is going to be massive on this round. If he connects on these shots, he does eventually. And there are two players by the ramp here. Guardian trying to get the wall bang here, but this is such a hard approach with there's so much time for CLG to set up and Flamey will find a quick headshot onto Haze. The bomb is down in front of the smoke though. They need to get that bomb and they need to get the frags as well. And we can see them backing away a little bit so Guardian can get the approach from Along. They realize there is some time to play with in this two versus two. And Guardian might very well open himself up into a very critical angle. He's gonna see a foot there and he does take the shot, but he's still looking for the frag. Finesse didn't know that Guardian was shooting at him. And now Tarek is down to 40 HP, but he'll get the kill onto Flamey. 30 seconds for Guardian to find the plant and the, all the frag. And here he goes, he picks up the bomb. He's gonna back away now. Tarek waiting patiently. He wants to play it safe. He wants to wait until that bomb is down and then he can make his move. He's gonna hear the bomb plant sound and make his way forward with the incendiary. Will this be good to force Guardian out of position? Tarek looking for the shot there, but Guardian pulls out the P250. He's going closer and closer. Has to go for the reload. And Tarek is slowly but surely getting closer and closer. And he finds the kill onto Guardian, wins the clutch round and now We've got a situation on our house. 6-6. Six, six. How's the money looking, Nazi? Yeah, it's, it's still looking. I mean, you can, Navi's going to be able to buy here. I've got a pretty healthy one, but they're going to be fully invested on this one. If they lose this one here, that would mean they probably have to eco. And really fast attack from Navi in that round. Cutler getting those two first kills. Kind of stopped it, but Navi was fully committed on it. And they kept coming in. And the Guardian getting that, I would say, easy and free kill on the finesse. Making it a one on two. But Tarek in the end manages to prevail, wins it against Guardian. Yeah, such key plays coming in, those opening two kills, and Haze, oh my god, I love this push from him, just going straight through the smoke, they've never showed such aggression, and he's gonna find a frag, of course, Guardian never expected that, the trade comes in, but a uh, trade in this situation, is that something you really want? No, not, not really, when you're CT side, this is definitely favoring the terrorist, 
Like, again, we see it's going to be two guys on this A side and two guys on this B side. So this means the CTs actually have to take risks. They need to make be the one that takes the initiative in this situation. So Navi definitely definitely favored. Absolutely, and JDM could make the difference, actually. I don't think he's really played a long at all against Na'Vi with the AWP, but he will give his position away. They know he's there now, and they actually shuffle all the way back out of a long, having realized that JDM's on that angle. And, uh, I mean, that push could have been so good if there was nobody there to get the information and survive. That would have been pretty sick. And Edward here is going to be on that platform, but Tarek spots him out from the bomb site. This could be under a lot of pressure here from FNS and Tarek, and goes down to that Molotov. Wow, a lot of damage being done here on this initial defense. And CLG looking strong right now. Pistol comes out for Tarek, just rattling it away. And it's going to be JDM to get the finishing blow onto Zeus. 7-6, CLG taking a lot of rounds now. How, uh, do you think Na'Vi... What's going on for Na'Vi at the moment? Do you feel like they're making a lot of mistakes, not hitting their shots? What's the issue? Yeah, I mean, in that round, for example, they, they just... they. Edward is just a bit too far ahead that he should have waited for his teammates because they obviously wanted to come into that B bombs that wait for your teammates to be in there wait so that you can definitely make sure you can trade those kills he committed way too far into that B plateau and then once he was spotted out he got Molotov he started to fall back and that's the point when his teammates come into the occasion it was just too late at that point Oh my god, the fast push coming here from Steez will take down one player, leaving Cutler alone to defend the drop. He's spraying for his life, but can he get any kills? No! Hayes is going to take down Edward to try to help save things here. But Na'Vi doing a lot of damage on this round, and they did invest slightly, so there are a couple of Kevlars in play on, on the two of the three remaining players for Na'Vi as things start to slow down, and they boost back out of drop zone. Interesting play coming in from Na'Vi. Now, Tarek is trying to spot and see what's going on. He's going to find Guardian, but Zeus takes him down. Oh my goodness, what is, what is actually going to happen here now as JDM comes in for the save? Yeah, that was a bit of a missed opportunity for Tarek for sure. And that creates a three on two situation in, in favor of Na'Vi. They'll definitely get that bomb down as well. This is going to be Zeus on JDM, and JDM doesn't go down though. Eventually does though, and Hayes is going to be alone in a one on two. What on earth is happening right now? Awkward engagements all over the place, but Hayes. He's going to get a lot of damage. Oh, but Guardian finds the headshot immediately with the AK-47. Hayes is out of the picture. And 7-7 and seven, seven is now the score. And it's going to be a disaster last round for CLG as well. They have absolutely no money at all. It's only going to be JDM that can afford an actual rifle. The rest of the team is going to have to make a lot of compromises in their purchases. It seems like one of them also is going to manage to get a FAMAS. So, you know, that's something at least. But yeah, just a lot of weird rounds here going back and forth and not be being just slightly better in those flash situations. But yeah, CLG is showing why they got this far. They're playing really well as well, playing their game and not really going down to the pressure in any sense in this situation. Yeah. It's the last round of the first half and big advantage for Na'Vi on these weapons and they've taken good positioning. Seized is maybe going to get caught off guard here. Just spots the boost in time, but that could have been very nasty for Seized. He's going to flush them out with the grenades as Na'Vi slowly close their grip around the neck of CLG in this round. And here it is. Edward with the first frag. JDM is going down. And Guardian is searching for the next player. He's going to miss him, though. But he should catch it. Let's get a lot of damage on the Tarek. There's the finishing blow as well. So Na'Vi look pretty solid in this one now. Yeah, but FNS does get flamey, though. So that creates something for CLG. And we'll see then again. It gets haste down. It's going to be a 4 and 2 situation in favor of Navi, and FNS is in a bit of a pickle. Gets picked up by Zeus, leaving Cutler alone here. Wow, what a trade of shots there. <laughs> Cutler hit you that shot with a P250, but shoes. Zeus just um, returning that favor with these AK 47, and that's going to put Navi in an A7 situation on that CT half. And here comes the, the huge grind for CLG because this is the side that they're going to be on right now that they had a lot of struggles against Na'Vi previously. They were attacking that B-bomb side a lot on the T side, or let's put it this way. They tried to attack that B-bomb right, side a right. lot of the times. They didn't really have a lot of success. It was actually the, the rounds where they started to go towards the A side that they managed to produce things. They, they had a pretty good uh, thing going on where they will take over middle really fast. But a lot of the time they, they actually got that initial kill. Do you think it's something they can fix, though? As you're saying, like, they're trying to attack the B site. They've had some time since that match. I would have imagined that they might have watched the demo back uh, already. Do you think there are some simple fixes there, or do you think it's a bit more systemic, a bit more complicated? I think they need to like opt to go more to the default kind of style. Let, let They try to get that map control uh, before making a decision instead of just going to the straight up B execute kind of a play. Mm. But let's see if they learned their lesson or not. That is actually quite common, that, that kind of play that I've watched, uh, that I've seen from the North American matches that I've casted in the past. So. 
definitely no, uh, no surprise to me to hear that. But uh, yeah, I mean, they have had time to adapt to Na'Vi, and I mean, that, that, that can possibly play into their favorite. At least now they've already run their kind of rounds, so they have had time to make the adjustments. So definitely hoping to see <laughs> a, a big, <laughs> a very competitive match. So wait, here. which one is it? The Zeus the player or Zeus the weapon? Hmm. That's a big question. That's a big question indeed. <laughs> Zeus actually having a good performance here. Indeed, 17 yep. frags, uh, top fragging on the map. And uh, Zeus sometimes does have these crazy performances actually. I uh, used to see him performing always on Dust 2. That used to be a map that was always very good for him. Yeah, Guardian is looking at a 13, 3 and 6 ha first half as well. So he's, he's putting his efforts in there too. I think he needs to continue that right now for sure. But like I said, pointed out before, it's going to be CLG's job to be done here. They need to be the ones that are smarter than previously as we go into this pistol round. And let's look at CLG's purchase on this on this pistol. Seems like Tarek bought a P250, has a flash and a smoke. JDM also has a P250 and a Molotov. So they have actually three sets of nades here going on and just two armors. So obviously that indicates some kind of an execute from CLG. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what they go with. Looks like it's going to be B. So the answer is it's there straight away. And, Why uh, not? <laughs> just as you said, it is the B shenanigans once again from the terrorist side. CLG opening things up with a good entry. That's a great grenade into Edward's position, and he's going to reveal himself. There is the team kill even. Flame, he's, he's been paid off. He's helping out the other side. He has defected, and it's going to be a bomb plant and a very clean round so far from CLG, losing only finesse. And sees, okay, he's been carrying Narvins out of some very hard situations on the first map, but, but I don't know that this yeah, is possible. I think this is a bit too much for even for, for him. I think the best thing right now he can he can really hope for is to maybe get a kill, get some money, and save that armor he has right now. But you know, straight up B play from from CLG works out perfectly. Yeah, Fenaz was the first guy out, and he just killed the first guy right away, dinked another as well, and de dealt a massive amount of damage. CLG getting that important pistol round to equal score to 8-8. I love the detail there from CLG to toss the HE into the chicken hut because that's actually the way I see teams lose that round. They get the, all the positioning on, then the guy pops out from the chicken hut at the wrong moment, baiting his entire team with the silenced USP, kills like two or three players, and then the, the, you know the, that T side then loses that round. But they had the nade for that. And now, interestingly enough, Navi is going to be force buying in this round. Not sure if I'm a great fan of this. It's been a really equal first half, so. But not the Deagles. I need. Deagles. This can have a huge, huge difference on how this half. It's going to pan out. I mean, obviously, if Navi wins it, it's going to be devastating for CLG. That's what happened in the first half as well. They, they want to force buy, but not sure at this point. Oh, wow. Actually, that said, though, they are managing to rotate into the right positions very quickly. They're, in fact, going to get out of these uh, choke points straight into the bomb site. So they'll at least have some engagements that could potentially work. They're just going to hit some shots there. Seize is going to get uh, flashed there. And that's not going to work out too well for Na'Vi as they get completely crushed on the bomb site. And oh, my God. Guardian getting two kills. Edward with one and another one as well. JDM goes down and they win the force fight out of nowhere. Wow, we're definitely going to see a replay of Guardian hitting two two very naughty Deagle shots. I mean, well, you put it out. You said it. Deagles, man. Deagles. The Deeks. Oh, my. Look at this. Boom. It's happening. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It happens now. There we go. And there we oh go. Oh, my God. And then Edward chimes in as well. Disgusting. Making matters worse for CLG. So it's happened again. Navi managed to win a, a force buy situation. A heartbreak for CLG. Who themselves go for a force buy as well. They're going to have haste on a Galil. The rest of the team on pistols. They'll have a bunch of nades to work with. And it seems like they're setting up. Surprise, surprise. A B attack momentarily. And the uh, last time they did get the... Uh this kind of a round out. They got kind of crushed by Na'Vi. And uh, so they're going to be hoping for another <laughs> result this time around and to prove that they too can win these force by situations. At least they got a rifle on Haze, a Galil, no less. And the drop is now occupied by some T's. But in comes Deuce. He's going to get taken down there. Looking for some information. And he's going to fall to Tarek. And in comes Guardian from the back. They might not be expecting the fast push here. Flaming needs to survive here, but he goes down to the P90 picked up on Cutler. Guardian now makes his presence known from the back. Finesse clearing out Edward. And now it's the three versus two. That bomb plant is CLG can make this one work. Guardian trying to save his team right now with that M4. Looking for those players, but they have so much discipline. Not peeking. Cutler picking up another one 
one with the P90, running and gunning, distracting Guardian for JDM to take him down. What a round there from SteelG. They're gonna win the Reforce. Yeah, I mean, what a back and forth of fight we have here. But it needs to be pointed out that Zeus made a huge mistake in that round. He, the peak he did to to, uh, to drop room after SteelG dropped down. One of them dropped down there. Uh, was unnecessary. He could have just waited for CLG to really commit to that drop drone before doing anything. Got killed right away, and then the sandwich effect was ready and done by CLG. And there we have it. That's gonna be them picking up that round. Force buy after force buy. Not to. Deeks, not to. Deeks! <laughs> Are you a believer? I'm, I'm always a believer in the Deagles. We right. have uh, three just as last time and a couple five sevens in there. And they are in the right place. Got to give them, give, you have to give them credit where it's due, sure, in the yeah, right place. Fair enough. Got the Eagles. Oh wow, but not sure what Zeus was doing again. He, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he stole Smith's, Smith's uh, his, his bandana. He tried to be the French Rambo, but he can't because he's not French. So he can't make that work. You need to, need to be French to make that one work. And uh, Zeus, at least he got some information for his team. But that said, this early on, it doesn't really help too much. As the OG could always go back if they wanted. However, they are going to press the attack. They're going to move again back to the wall there. Nice snap onto Edward. Guardian spotted and he gets another crazy Deagle shot at range. Looking for more Deagle shenanigans is Guardian. Through the flames, JD will take him down. And it's just seized left now. So CLG looking like they are going to break Na'Vi. I don't think it's Zeus that needs to be nerfed. I think it's Guardian right now. Yeah. I mean, don't give the guy a Deagle. Let's put it that way. Um, CLG does manage to um, live through this care and they do survive Navi's purchase or forced by round rather. There you have it. Steel G is going to be put in, into a 10-9 lead at this point and I think finally we're going to see, see a team have an eco round. Ooh, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. And it's going to be a tough one for Navi as well. When it comes to, when it, when it comes to their economy, oh, yes. sure. Edward is real low money um, seized also. So compromises are going to happen on that next round as well. Okay, so this is interesting right now because, you know, as you said, CLG has some problems before. They're starting off on the right foot with their T-side now, so they have all the opportunities. And here is the anti-eco. This is a really good round. Very fast, playing as a team, not complicating things, getting the good positions. This is how, this is how it's done. Oh, yeah. Just a B-rush. I mean, why not? Seems to be the right spot. This Navi is pushing to, towards that A-main. Zeus takes a kill on FNS. JDM traced it off, though, so the favor is still in Seal's court. They got the bomb down as well. So, Navi, right now, the best they can hope for is some exit kills. Yeah, I mean, Navi, they did go for a bit of a coin flip there, starting to rush uh, down middle into... And it just does give them the flank here, but as, as we can see, it's just about the exit frags, and Tarek will get two quick kills, which is quite nice considering the situation, and Hayes will finish off Guardian, so good shooting there as well. And Seize is looking for his exits. JDM is going to be finding himself at the mercy of Seize's pistol, but the frag comes in, the trade comes in, and that's this, actually not too bad, isn't it? Right, this, this early B um, um, presence from uh, CLG definitely enables them to do some fakes. They can definitely cause some over-rotation from Na'Vi if they do some B fakes and actually attack that A site. So let's see if CLG continues to push that B site or if they have something else in oh, their dude. strategy book. Is that an M249? What's happening? Did Finesse buy an M249? Um, because, I mean, why not? Why wouldn't you? It's just a major. That's got, that's got to be a mistake. It sucks, Nazi. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They're going to go in, though. And it's such a fast round into this B bomb site. It doesn't matter because Tarek and Hayes are going to take frag after frag. Navi. It was almost as if they weren't even in this round, and it's already over. And in fact, Guardian goes for the pause. Yeah, it's, that's just a tactical pause, I would imagine, at that point. That was Navi just getting crushed by the CLG rush. FNAS still roaming around, by the way. He's got an M249. That's got to be a mistake. Oh, dear. Maybe it's a new meta. We don't know. <laughs> the new meta. That was the adjustment they made. It's like, oh, guys, we lost our, you know, those B push rounds. What we really needed was an M249. <laughs> That's what we really needed. Right. Yeah. Pew pew. It's really expensive and it's really bad. <laughs> so I just can't really emphasize that enough. Yeah. yeah you probably you, I, does that it, really? It's very, That's probably the only time we'll see that this that gun put, uh, bought in the major. I think. And it's probably going to be the only time you'll ever see. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. But now, I mean, uh, CLG is just pushing Navi's buttons that, uh, here right now. Um, B rushes are working <laughs> quite effectively for CLG, that's for sure. 
I mean, Navi just needs to put a lot more emphasis on that B-Long. They just need to use a lot of early nades to make sure that CLG doesn't get out of there as easily as they have right now. So they're definitely going to have a bit of a talk here going on and what their decision is going to be on the purchase front. It's really interesting, isn't it, that CLG is starting to find their stride. And uh, they've not really changed anything from yeah. from the from the previous encounter. The, the main difference is they're they're winning those battles. They're getting the first kills. They're getting the the bomb site. And that's that's really good to see. I mean, CLG on this kind of a, a stage, that's that's not something they're used to. Navi, on the other hand, they've been on stages like this before. Yeah, and there's a lot of skill in the CLG team. There's no doubting that. I mean, Tarek right now is sitting at two, 22. Cutler at 20. Those have been the two big guys for for CLG, definitely so far on cobblestone so usually navi is a team that does uh roll on guardian to deliver he's been delivering some deagle headshots in the recent times that's for sure and he's been giving uh, them you know ins back into the game here or there but cobblestone again it's not a map that he typically shines on because it's not necessarily a map where the orp is always going to be able to have free roam on either the t or the ct side it often carries quite a lot of risk there's not many players that consistently were able to make it work even simple he could be you know he's very explosive on a map like this but but it wasn't very common that you would see him just wreck everybody with the orb it's just quite hard to play and impact uh, heavily with that in a proactive manner so guardian it's harder for him to really force this with the orb and uh he's a great rifler as well but clg right now feels like they have all the momentum do you think that this pause is gonna Going to calm CLG a little bit. Some of the fire is going to be uh, Dows, perhaps. Yeah, definitely. CLG right now has all the moments from going in their court, and the, the, they're just making it work really well. Navi, like I said, they need to start putting a lot more nades in that B long to start off with. I mean, they just can't let CLG get out like they have so far on this on the second half, and, and obviously it's going to be over with if, if if Navi doesn't do anything about it. I wonder if we'll see a very fast round from CLG to try to break up any play Nardi had in mind, but yeah, Nardi just starting to go with a uh, bit of an interesting buy. Yeah, it is a bit of a mixed buy, isn't it? Um, yeah, we have three rifles here, one for Moss, two and fours, and two five sevens for Navi. And they're sending all five per players right now to that B bomb side, so they're confident there's, it's going to be a B attack. Oh, good damage though with the nades. Navi trying to boost up onto the drop zone, but definitely suffering some damage from those pre-nades of CLG. Once again, CLG seemed very good at crossing the T's and dotting the I's in this series, not leaving any spots unchecked. And Guardian will wait patiently, but he decides that it's a little bit too risky and finally backs away. They've completely given up A. They've stacked towards the B-bomb site, but CLG with a slow round. Yeah, and right now actually Navi is rotating two players towards the A side. That being said, Guardian does turn around. He's going to be around this drop room CT connector. And now we have CLG he is actually coming through here. Haste pushing that B hallway. A couple of players here, JDM and FNS at B drop. Are they going to commit to this B bomb site once again? It seems like they are. Navi being quite committed with their stack, which is good. And JDM will just rattle off a few shots. Still not a confirmation though for Navi as to what CLG are doing, but this will be the confirmation. All the nades almost blotting out the sky. And it's going to be uh, seized up on the tree position. He could do a lot of damage here. He's going to find one frag, but he is blinded. Very well timed pop flash coming in from CLG to make their efforts into the site easier. And Hayes picks up another entry. Guardian, oh, just barely missing the planter. And that's going to be uh, just two players left now for Na'Vi to try to get things done. Guardian is going to run out of bullets, pulls out the 5-7, but the nade of Cutler is going to finish him off. And now it's down to Flamey. He does not have a kit or any Kevlar, and Finesse is coming in from the back. Molotov going down as well, and he's in a sandwich right now. Flame is. There's not a lot, lot for him to do. He's gonna go in that drop room and gets killed for FNS, and this has to be this has to be really bad for Navi when you think about it. They have four players on that B bomb side that still didn't manage to stop the CLG train coming in that bomb site. I mean, what what more can you do? It's like the CLG train is an express ride to the third map at this point because we've got <laughs> a really, yeah. really like sick amount of momentum on their side. It really feels like the, the, everybody's starting to you know, come together, hitting their shots. Everyone's coordinating well. Pop flashes are well-timed. Good tactical display from CLG, but can they pull it off here? Guardian's picked up the AWP again. So slow around again from CLG. Waiting to see what exactly... Navi threw at them if there was to be an aggression, and so far, 
so good for CLG, taking yeah. map control one piece at a time. Yeah, slightly different that this time around. Only having FNS here towards the B bomb side, and they're actually taking that A hole, or A long rather, with your in this round with Cutler being the front man. You have two guys here, JDM just peeking middle, and they're taking it really, really slow, just trying to scout out the map, see what's going on. How, what is Navi doing in their defense? As it seems right now, Navi is quite defensive. It's both Zeus and Seized are actually putting all their focus into the side hall. Oh, this is a sneaky position from Seize. Not a common boost that you would normally see. It's very committed. He's got to make the frags from there. And we're going to see CLG moving in. There goes the flash. Zeus is going to get blinded. We'll reposition towards the wooden panels here. He's going to find himself a frag. There's no more to be found, though. And Seize and Zeus will both go down immediately, leaving their teammates to try to retake through the choke points. But they cannot get it done. They have to go back. They can't get, they can't get in. I mean, only getting one kill in that situation and losing that bomb side right away is going to be a death blow. I mean, Edward needs to go huge. He does get a pick on Hayes, so that creates an opportunity for Na'Vi and equalizes the situation in a three on three. But Edward needs to be the one that makes a difference right now. And JDM says no, gets Guardian, make it into two on three situation. Awkward indeed. I mean, at this point, with that frag onto Guardian, that's that's really the last nail in the coffin here for Na'Vi in this round. And they all are going to uh, try to save these weapons, which will do so successfully. CLG taking a lot of care that Na'Vi won't do anything to sneaky at the last moment. And uh, CLG win another round. Looks like they are going to be doing very well indeed. So 14-9. This is a bit of a shock kind of result. But you got to close, Na'Vi. Always be closing. ABC, that's what it's about, right? So can they get it's, it done? Because I've seen teams get this far before. And it's always hard to play a map for let's, looking at it from Na'Vi's point of view. They've recently won against the LG at this tournament on Cobblestone. It's easier for the team that's lost previously to go into this map than the one that's previously won. Because they've, they've had the opportunity to really learn from their mistake and that adjust their players slightly. Obviously, the biggest difference is right now that CLG is hitting a lot of their shots. That's how they're creating these opportunities. And that's why we're looking at this scoreline. Absolutely. And CLG, they are in the position of another slow round. Pretty much, it looks more or less exactly the same as the last one. More or less, just not as many players towards A long. And there's a different setup from Na'Vi. Two players playing close to A long for them. So they've, they're trying to adjust those A long takes, it seems. Yep. Here we have right now, FNS is going to be putting a bit of pressure to this drop room while Edward is picking on Hayes, but Cutler does get the kill on Edward as well. So it's going to be a 4 and 4 situation. And as mentioned previously, this is going to be something that favors the terrorists. As we can see here, it's going to be two guys towards the day side, but Flamey getting a pick on JDM. And he's going to back away a little bit. Smart move. Getting that advantage. You don't necessarily need to hold drop anymore. Four versus three. Flamey is a definitely a smart player. Zeus is by the chicken coop as well. Let's see whether or not Zeus's position is going to be the difference maker here. They are already a man ahead as push slowly makes its way in. Zeus just waiting for that perfect moment to peek out and crush the opposition. He peeks out finally, takes down Finesse, but maybe it was too soon because Tarek and Cutler are trading frags back. There's 20 seconds left, just less than, to try and get the bomb planted, but Guardian and Seize are going to be able to shut it down with the spray of those rifles. And 14-10 is now the score. But how is the money looking? It looks like CLG actually have loads of cash in the bank. So they, they're going to yeah. be having buys for days. They won't have any issues with that. At the same time, though, Navi is going to be very much invested on this one. Well, everyone except for Zeus, well, actually Zeus also has to make purchases still. So they're going to be very low. They're, they're really, really on the edge on this one right now. And let's see what CLG brings us here this time. It's going to be another B rush, potentially. At least they're grouping up towards the B side again. Indeed, some pre -nays perhaps. CLG have been using quite a slow pace. Looks like they're mixing it up a little bit with a bit of a faster pace into the B bomb site. Everybody's towards the plateau, though. That's actually very dangerous not to try to actually put a split in if they try to actually go for the committed play. And they are going to go for it. Can they make it work without the split? Guardian takes down Hayes straight away. And it looks like they're trying to force the issue here. As Edward actually finds his way up onto the plateau. Gets taken down by Cutler. Trades and trades. But it's going to be CLG who are looking good in this one. And Finesse and Tarek in the last moment taking down both Seized and Guardian to get the round. And now they're on map point. Looks like CLG are poised to take this to a third map. Another B it working flawlessly for CLG. It was used on that bomb site that just didn't manage to connect on a couple of shots. As you can see there, actually, he was shooting Cutler from the side and he should have actually gotten that kill. But it may could have made a huge difference in that attack. But as you have it, CLG is at map point of this time. 
it is very likely that we're going to be looking at a third map as navi is very low on cash they have a deagle and a couple three five sevens and edward with a max seven to work with here so it's going to be a super tough defense for them absolutely and already you can see tag is just going to be uh donating a lot of bullets to the, to the door just almost using all of his ammo there actually with the ak but sees this he's unscathed he's looking pretty good at the moment he's going to back away though into another position and he does have some teammates to play off of i think he's got guardian there who's in support with the deagles so that's that's a nice player to have who's at your back yeah a slow approach from clg taking over the day long again Let's see if they opt to go for a similar A execute as they did previously here, but instead it seems like they're going to be falling back and going towards that B bomb side yet again. As we have actually four of Navi players are in that B bomb side though, so this could get tricky for CLG. This is good actually to see from CLG. We see the Molotovs used here to try to clean clean out the uh, pistoling players, but uh, so we do have some counter grenades as well, and just using all the grenades, all the advantages found for CLG. Now Tarek is moving straight in. He's got a lot of faith in his teammates that they're able to protect him. That's not the case. And this is looking quite disastrous here. Two versus two, JDM and Cutler. 17 HP combined. This is not a good look right now. With 20 seconds on the clock. Navi might be finding a way back into this one. Zeus is awaiting that plant attempt. It's got to be soon. It must be soon. There's only there's less than 10 seconds at this point. Zeus is burning. He's burning! No! What is going on? Cutler's actually going to burn Zeus alive. What? He didn't realize not to. What on earth uh, just happened? He, he tried to be too cheeky. He tried to just walk through that Molotov. He, he was just in kind a of leap of faith, trying to go through the Molotov. I almost couldn't believe it. I, I, JDM. That's what happened. And, wow. Well, I mean, uh, that is slightly...